Within that, there is a new bill that focuses on helping retail businesses battling crime. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli spoke to one business owner who says help is needed now more than ever. Sunday morning, they broke in through the back, they kicked our doors in, and so that's just recent. Lisa Velarde owns Signature Sweets and Flowers in Albuquerque. They filled up our crates and helped themselves to, you know, all the tools in, in the shop, our, their work tools, our cutters, you know, all that stuff. She says in the last few years, her flower shop has been hit up four times. They stole one of my delivery vans. Velarde says where her store is in northwest Albuquerque used to be calm, but in recent years, robberies are happening more in the area, which is why she hopes a crime package gets past this legislative session. They need to crack down on these criminals. It's terrible. We work so hard day and night, all of us business owners, and small business owners are what really keeps, you know, the economy going. And we need help. We need help. While crime is at the top of everyone's minds during this session, there's one bill that Representative Bill Ream is going to present that's going to help businesses just like this one. We're trying to help those local business owners keep their doors open. And so when they suffer a loss such as this lady, it is very costly to their business. Representative Ream says his crime package includes a plan to fight retail crime. The criminals know that if they steal under $500, it's a misdemeanor. So they they go to one store, they steal under 500, they go to the next store, do the same thing, and then they collect all these items and then start selling them. Representative Reem says rather than take each charge individually, his bill would charge someone based on the total amount stolen, something Velarde thinks is needed at this point. Help us pass those laws. Get those criminals locked up. Take care of us. I'm John Cardinelli reporting for KOAT Action 7 News.